so many people consume content. What was the thing that made you switch and say like, hey, I want to be one of the people on the creator side commenting on the industry <laughs> and building an audience? I think what happened was I had left Warner Music Group and I was deciding, do I want to start my own company? Do I want to go back working for a major? And I got this email from Sean Rakowski, who used to be the head of sales for ADA. And it, all it was, was about a dozen of these songs and albums that he had found that were really good. And he was sharing it with like a hundred people. So I called him up and I said, this is cool, but you know, why are you doing this? And he said, well, I'm kind of between jobs. I don't know where I'm going to go right now. And I just don't want people to forget me. And the light bulb went on and I went, I'm going to do that. So I did something you're not supposed to do. I created an email and just basically sent it to a couple hundred people in my contacts. You know, you're typically supposed to ask for permission, but I just right. decided, you know what, I'm just going to do this. And what do I love? Well, I love music and technology. So I'll just do a recap every week. So I put an image and then just a two, three sentence blurb. Even if you don't read those top dozen stories in your morning coffee, you can read that little blurb and go, oh, okay, well, this is going on. All of a sudden it started to grow. And that little newsletter to a couple hundred people is now over, over 15,000 people. And we have advertisers and we have, now we have a weekly podcast you know, that we've been doing for a year where we break down the stories. I didn't have this grand plan of, you know, I'm gonna create this newsletter for the industry. I just stumbled into it. And then next thing you know, some of my favorite artists subscribe to it. Some of my favorite managers subscribe to it and they'll send me notes. What do you think about this? The last thing I'll say on it is, it wasn't intended for business. It wasn't intended for me to make money from. But what's happened is people will read your morning coffee and then they'll call me up and they'll go, I think I need to hire Label Logic to be my label infrastructure for this. So it's brought us business, but that wasn't what it was intended for originally.